This is the back lot of the Carl's Jr. And I just did an actual shot video inside the Carl's Jr. for eating a hamburger. I just thought that would be awesome. Pieces of this need to go up on my channel. Anyway, <laughs> and then a whole movie too if they want to watch the whole movie. So anyway, this is where we would go to high school and and this is the bus stop in front of Carl's Jr. Yeah, so still the 62. And that was Valley Christian over there and had a big, big brick fence. And the Carl's Jr. kids, and us kids would come out here, to the Carl's Jr. <laughs> Valley Christian kids. And we would like, we would equally do mean shit to each other. And then, um, <laughs> so yeah, this is the walk to Pine Hill. Oh, View Monday's still here. There it is. Um, let's see, uh, let's see. Okay, they kept part of the building as like a community center. Ambrian Community Center over there. So they kept part of the school. Tore the rest down, I made this little shopping mall. And I don't see a sign for what the shopping mall is actually called. I'm assuming like Camden Square or something. Because the one across the street is Cambrian Plaza. It's probably like Camden Square. I think they should have named it after Lisa and David, my niece and nephew. Should have called it Lisa and David Square. That would have been appropriate. Considering how ridiculously popular Lisa was. And now ridiculously popular David was because of how popular Lisa was. Because it was the 80s and, you know, that's the way it worked. <laughs> As for me, I was not. I was only popular in my senior year. Let's turn the camera on. So I'm walking down the pathway to Pine Hill. And I'm along the road here. And yeah, yeah, I was popular in my last two years, junior and senior. I started the school fan club magazine called On Location. And actually, officially, On Location started in October of 1984. About a couple months after I came there. I came there in January 84 in the seventh grade. I know if October of 84 it would have been eighth grade. So yeah, because um, it was a junior high and a high school. Also a primary grade school. There was about 100 students on each side. And um, there were two sides. Kids were separated by the high school and the junior high were in one section. For each graduating class of Pine Hill was about 10. Real small private school. Valley Christian was a little bigger, maybe. 500, 600, something like that. So yeah, um, and the, the the unofficial years, sort of what I called it even then, was the first three or four years. Then by 87, the junior year, I'm all like, okay, now it's official. My junior and senior year, on location magazine. On location at Pine Hill. There was an earlier subtitle that said Pine Hill Prison. It was not actually a prison. But there were people that probably ended up in prison, and some that didn't, but uh, I did not. Um, so yeah, I was one of the good kids, didn't get in a whole lot of trouble. The extent of my, like, wreaking havoc at Carl's Jr. was probably getting my friend Tim to snort salt. Because I, like, pretended to, and then he's all, Ooh, <laughs> it burns, and yeah. Ugh. Well, I did, and then I did it again, and then I actually did it for real. And it was like, it didn't burn me for some reason. My weird metabolism, you know. I was just like, oh, it's all big deal. Yeah, I'm making a selfie. Yeah, so I'm almost there. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. Mm -hmm. Now, back to the show. Okay, you got all that? You got all that? Well, I'm sure we've talked about it before, and I'm sure John and I will discuss it later. And not as his other character, but as John. Um, here we have Pine Hill. Today, 2014, Pine Hill. Ooh, it is some kind of a daycare, preschool thing. Pine Hill is now located elsewhere, but yeah, there it is. I hope I can get closer without having them run after me with the guns. This tree was was not this big. Here's the bus stop. 
bus stop. I could run down to where service merchandise used to be, but it's out to CVC Pharmacy. And it's like, who cares? It's stupid. But yeah, here's the other bus stop. There's another one about a block that way. And there's Pine Hill. I'm not sure how close I can get. I'm gonna try and get closer. But yeah, there's the uh, school where I went to high school. Yeah, it's true. That is where I went to high school. So there you are. Um, They've added a bunch of kitty primary things over there because it's a kitty school. Though. But yeah, over there we have the community center. Yeah, vlogs. It's people like going by. They really shouldn't mind. So I'm aiming the camera at me as I walk by my old high school. Do 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 do. There's actually people over there, some kind of meeting, but it looks like parents and stuff. So I should be able to get closer. I mean, I'm obviously selfie filming myself. Get closer here. <laughs> I'm from there to Pine Hill. Apparently today on, on Friday, oh, in July, a Pine Hill uh, was actually uh, here today on Friday, Friday Pine Hill. Pine Hill was actually open for business as a daycare today because they had to come over from the uh, community center across the street, which is the other half of Valley Christian. They got turned into a community center and um, they would go to Pine Hill. And surprisingly, nobody came up and said, What are you doing? The camera! Because I was deliberately selfieing myself. So they just uh, they just assumed. You know, and, they, and people were almost going to ask, and then I would tell them immediately, Oh, I'm, I'm doing a thing from a, this is where I went to high school. No one actually came up and said, What are you doing? They just kind of like looked like a little concerned. But yeah, I, I don't look like, creepy, so they didn't really say anything. I didn't have a car with me. <laughs> I, I parked at the malls. Or if it would actually be a creeper, I would have had to have a car handy. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> like in the TV shows, yeah. It's like school is in session. So, I'm just going to walk here. There we are. Okay, I'm standing in front of Pine Hill. Yeah, I was gonna go in there. And I, then I went to the uh, backstop place behind Jennifer and Byron, and I looked over at the uh, the secret passage, which was still there with a the little turnaround thing. It's in the ivy, and then thought upon looking at it now at the time, like like everybody could see us if we had to run past the fence if we went through there. They wouldn't see us go into it through the ivy, but they would definitely see us running across the primary side past the other. Look, it's her. Uh, so yeah, that would be a really bad place to sneak out through. Um, probably the best place would actually be on the other side where you could hop over the fence into the neighborhood on the other side of Cam Cambriana. Not that, that entrance, the other one. Unless they went the other way, the group home people, maybe they got on the bus and just went toward the Down Union, the other direction, not toward Carl's, but the other way. Looks like they added a gate to the side of the fence. I wonder if Jennifer Byron Drive is still there. Pretty funny. There's Pine Hill. Uh, that's where I went to high school. So there's nobody else actually out there. Uh, yeah, they've, they've added kitty toy stuff. You can see that over there. Yeah. This is a kitty school. Now it is. Yeah. I wonder if the passage is still over here. But during the Pine Hill days, there was a passage over here of which we could play hooky and escape through this fence. It was always there. The fence is over. And I think they left it in. <laughs> We rarely used it, but on occasion. And it's on Jennifer and Byron, and there was a girl at school named Jennifer Byron. It was not fun. It was not locatable on the internet. Yeah. Dance and aqua There's aquatics in there. Really? Where's the pool? Yeah. <laughs> uh.
back. There's the quad way up in the distance. The self class. Up the back. Through the fence. My old high school. Jennifer Byron. There should be a door around here somewhere. The ivy's all over, grown over it. There should be a door. Jennifer Byron. See, he told you. Jennifer Byron. Jennifer Byron. Holy shit. I'm not going in there, but the door is open. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's still there. The secret passage from which we snuck into, in and out of school during school hours. There it is. <laughs> what would they do? Go to the, go to the gas station or something? Get some smokes? That's what they did back then. Get some smokes. Because they had cigarette machines back then. And, um... You could just walk in and buy them, and, they, and they, the clerks didn't care. So the teenagers are like smoking up right there. It's, they're blazing up in Carl's Jr. across the street from the gas station back then. It's like, damn, really? <laughs> they were just doing it because they could. They didn't care. <laughs> they didn't stop them. But yeah, it was it was stinky back there. Cigarettes. So yeah, don't do that, kids. Um. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. That's that's. It's still there. It's, it's, there's like, there's, they put in a turnstile and they added this little roundy thing. But it's like way in and out of the school. Through the gates that allegedly kept us in. That's funny. <laughs> That's where it was. Of course, then we'd have to run around the whole fence and they'd see us like coming around the front of the building. It's kind of a dumb way to escape, actually. <laughs> but yeah, we'd come around the front and go out and escape. But yeah, the, the passage is still there. That's awesome. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Covered in ivy. I could have actually walked onto campus, but then I probably would have been arrested. This, this, sign, this sign is rather, rather, rather baffling over here on Jennifer Byron Road, uh, on the corner here. Aquatic, what kind of aquatic center do they have? They don't have a pool in their old high school. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, they have like a little kiddie pool with like like little flippers in it or something. <laughs> yeah, so it's like that's Pine Hill. It's behind me. I went to Byron there and Jennifer and, and found our passageway we snuck out of. Of course, in order to sneak out, then we'd have to cross this area over here, which is the frickin' street. And the office would totally see us. I, d I don't know what we were thinking. Because we'd be out on the street right here, unless we had to go around the whole building. So... <laughs> It'd be kind of stupid to go out that secret passage. <laughs> this, I just walked up to this and I noticed this little tidbit because it's the Asperger's, I guess. But this bench is new. The Pine Hill bench had a much earlier date. This is a replacement bench, probably because after we left, kids tore the old one apart, like they did ours several times. So yeah, this is a 1991 bench from two years after I graduated. And uh, yeah, so they replaced it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I went back to the center and the only thing I got was like across the street because oh watch out for the cars ah oh, that's all I got. Um I knew what I was doing, no crossing the street. There was a sidewalk. Yeah, it was like back in the day. Across the street to the VC side. Because there's no more VC there. I think they they moved that school in the nineties. And Pine Hill around the 90s as well moved out. So yeah, so that was that. There's a recap. So I am I am uh, at the community center the bus stop that was the uh, Dolly Christian. I think I figured it out. Is uh, the group home kids who were like troubled and stuff. Group home. Angie and Jennifer and then them guys. Oh well. <laughs> so many years later, I wonder they're around. Let's we do that. I mean, the group home kids like Angie and Shelly and, and them. And uh, Jennifer, they probably they probably liked that spot to escape from because then they would escape the school entirely. I mean, it didn't matter whether they went out the front or the back way. Right? Probably what was going on. Oh, dude, almost had an accident. And it's like 
Yeah, so it's probably what the deal was there. Yeah, I guess. But we didn't try it. <laughs> Got caught, of course. This way. If we weren't sneaky at all, we're like, oh, we're going up through the passageway. <laughs> we're sneaky. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they, they totally knew what we were doing. I don't know if um, we're going to have any other students go out there and film in front of it because, uh, yeah, it's just open for business already. So, yeah, um, <laughs> so that would look a little strange if a bunch of us started to show up. Like, uh, what's going on? A cadet review? But yeah, um, yeah, so it was a pine hill. Now it's completely primaries. So, it's preschool. And oddly enough, an, an aquatic center. But like, where? Like, in the south class? Where did they put the pool? <laughs> I don't get it. Maybe they re turned the pool into, turned it into a pool. Weird. <laughs> I guess they must have put a pool over there. Ah. Greetings again. I got myself a mint jasmine tea. No, not mint. It's some um, lime jasmine tea. It's weird. It's iced. And this is called the Camden Park Mall. This mall that was Valley Christian. It should be named after either Lisa and David or, or after the victors of the, the story, which would be people after us, but should be just named after Tim. Tim is awesome, but it's not. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Well, yeah, it still has fences, so it still looks like a jail. Even though it wasn't. Like, like a juvie-like place. She knew some of those kids were going to end up in juvie. You knew some of them were. So a lot of those places are gone, but a lot of places still have the, Argo the alleged Argonauts Landing Bay office building is still there, but there were trees in front of it, and it was hard to tell from one side of the street. The other side, it was, it was still there. So, that was another building. Um, the baby discount is still there. Over there on the corner of Bascom and the other one. And uh, it still says that. And it implies that the babies there are for discount prices. Cheap babies. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so there, there's a lot of those other goofy buildings along there. And City's Florist is still there. Uh, but the... Uh, but the, um, the... There was like a Chili's type place... It was like a Chili's offshoot called Spoons, or Rip Off, perhaps. Uh, it is now a Hooters bar. It's a Hooters family restaurant. Ha! Ah, you know, it's, it's, it's like a it's a titty bar restaurant, basically. For a third of Hooters, I've been in them, and basically the whole gag is that is that the waitresses show their boobs. Well, their cleavage. They don't show their boobs. The cleavage. It's it's like ridiculous. It's just like a chicken wing place and stuff. <laughs> Oh <laughs> well, boobs, boobies, <laughs> like like Homer Simpson. Oh, me, ah! Hey, buddy, go to the jitty bar, Marge. See, I can do the accent too. Yeah. You can't go to the jitty bar. You gotta watch the kids. Ah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So there we go. It's funny that the light behind me is making it all hair all frizzy. A halo. Yes, sir. Oh, anyway, not for that. Those are some of the places that I did not visit, but I drove past. The prune yard still exists, but it was very busy, and and I couldn't get. I could have gotten in there, but I didn't. Uh, they've remo They've torn up the middle of it and put a road through it and stuff, but it's still there. Yeah. So yeah, the uh, the big bookstore's gone. So was the newer bookstore. Uh, they, they they used to have a book sink or something like it, and then they had a the Barnes and Noble, and that's gone. Um, so yeah, anyway, the Barnes and Noble came much later though. So yeah, um, so there you go. There's the stores around that area. Yeah, and the uh, oh yeah, Costantino's is now called something else, but the Wendy's is still there, and there's like a McDonald's next to it. It got refurbished. So yeah, they got a little Italian community down there, a little bit left over. The Costantinos is closed. It's that little food market that's on the corner of Union, Bascom, and right in the middle. And um, <laughs> at the arch there, that little breakaway crossroads, that fork in the road. And, uh, and it's uh, now called uh, uh, Lunardi's. Yeah, also the spaghetti place, I think it's still there. 
But uh, yeah, I'm under new management, I guess. But yeah, so yeah, a lot of that stuff is still there. Uh, and we were also, I was also going to pass by the service, the center that used to be the service merchandise, which is now a CVS pharmacy. So yeah, it's it wasn't that exciting, so I didn't do it. And on the way home, I passed by that alleged secret chocolate shop, the Sparrows, Sorbio's place, and it's apparently closed too. And uh, the sign's still there, but it's closed. So yeah, uh, everything's closed. Um, <laughs> but Pine Hill was open for business, and there was a daycare. So, and as well as the park center across the community center across the street, which was showing some, um, yeah, they were, they show a midnight movie there apparently, but I didn't care. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's it. That's it from uh, there. That's it. But yeah, there, there you go. Um, <laughs> there's my Pine Hill recap, and you're watching the recap of another reunion from 2014. The summer of 2014. Mm.